Hi guys, Joseph here today. We're doing another Joseph car video. And today, we're doing another video on my 2002 Volvo V70. And today, I'll be showing you how to fix the faulty cup holder. It's where the cup holder normally pops out a dash. No, it pops out a dash. But it doesn't conform into the shape of a cup holder. So today, we're going to be showing you how to fix that. So, this video applies to... Volvo V70s from 2000 to the year 2004 and Volvo S60s from also 2000 to 2004 as well. So let's get down to the car right now. Right guys, the first step to fixing this issue with the cup holder guys is when I pop out, this doesn't fling out like it should. Because when you pop this cup holder out guys, this is meant to flick out like that and it isn't right now, it's just staying. But today we're going to try and fix that. Our first step to doing this is make life easier. I'm going to put it in auto, put it into low gear. If you don't have, if you take this out without disconnecting your battery guys, you are going to trigger an SRS message up on the dash. Yeah, so if you don't have any software to clear your SRS, disconnect your battery, guys. Because I have the software, I'm not going to disconnect my battery. I'm just going to proceed. So first, get your wallpapers. Be careful not to scratch any in the interior. There you go, now you ride this out. Now you can just lift this right out. Now to make life even easier, you can take this little trim out. This one's a little bit more difficult. So there's four clip tabs each corner. There you go, now that's out, throw that off to the side, there are two T25 screws at the bottom, there's two T25s, there's two there as well, that's for the centre console, go for the inner T25s, you'll see when you actually look at yours, now we're going to undo that, turn that way to loosen. And one tip, guys, before you forget, to, to prevent you from losing the screws, slide a bin liner bag under here. This thing really helps, guys, this trick. Yeah. So we're going to remove these screws at the bottom. Now this is all loose. Put your screws somewhere you're not going to lose them. Put them in a the safe place. Now, get your wallpaper scraper. Get the edges. Be very careful. There you go. Get a good pull. 
Now that's loose. Now you pry out. There's two green connectors, one large one and a small green connector. I hope you guys can see. Now push the top tab in to pull out. And do the same with the other one. Now guys, you can tilt it down, you can see. That big one goes there and that small one goes there. And to, for this one, just pull upwards. And now that's disconnected. And now you can pull that out your way. Now, you're revealing another two T25s. At the top, bottom of the radio. I'll actually show you, so I'm going to pull you off the tripod here. So look, there's one T25 there and another one there. But the T25s, they're more in the centre. Don't undo these ones on the outside, because that's your centre console. So now we're going to start undoing these on that one and that one. Then you pull outwards on the radio. You just grab hold of this to pull it out. Then you've got to get it downwards, so get a wallpaper scraper in the top and pry it down. So I'm going to get it back on the tripod. Now you got them screws undone. Now grab the tabs and pull towards you. Now get the wallpaper scraper out. It's hard to get it out if it's never been out before. Now you pry it down. Now you got the radio in your hand. So now I want to give you a shot at the back, so give you a shot at the back right now. Yeah guys, if you look behind, there's that green connector and there's your ground I think. That wire is a speak one and if next to it you'll have a CD change wire if you have one. So grab all the wire and pull out. Gets that out. Now I've got the big green connector. That's the most difficult one. Let me. Yeah, so I'm going to actually disconnect those off camera. So yeah, I'm going to pause here. Yeah. Right, guys, so you push this in. This one was a very difficult one to remove. I just got it loose here. Now, here's two connectors here for this one's the radio speaker connector. And the other one's the disc changer, so there you go. That's that out, and that's another connector there. Which connects it all out, and I think that's probably your ground. Yeah. That's the right, it's a normal speaker. That's your CD changer. If you have a CD changer, you'll have to take that one out as well. Obviously, I don't have a disc changer on this, so I'm not gonna have that wire. So now I'm gonna take this to the kitchen, so I'm gonna pause here. Right guys, so take this cup holder off, there's normally a tab up here, you push that tab in, there's also a tab at the bottom on the turn it up so down so you can guys can see, I'll hold it up closer to you, you push that in, and that slides out, there you go, now slides out the cup holder, and there you have the cup holder. Right guys, here's what you can do to fix this cup holder because when you pop this out, this is meant to fold outwards. It goes into the shape of a cup holder. Here's the date that this is made. Hmm. Oops. 22nd of Feb 2002. That's when this is made. 
Many of you want it to know when this thing was made. Here's something common I know. Is these because what happened when this broke is the spring fell to the back, and this wouldn't it only going that far. That's as far as it go. That's where it go. And then I shook it and I pulled it out, and it goes out again. And here's the spring. Here's the spring it broke. Here's a tip, if you have it upwards like that, it's not going to work, so just turn it this way. Alright guys, that spring is meant to attach there. Mine's broken. And that's, I got it flat. That's what's happened. It's meant to attach up there, and here's the bit that snapped off. So and that's the whole reason that this doesn't stay in. Because that bit controls that. And that goes up to there. And if you move it, you see that the cup holder bit moves. Yeah. It's under tension all the time. That's it. And so first is we gotta get this bit out. So to make life easier, I leave it popped in for now and we'll start getting these bits out, these two metal bits, so I'm not gonna mount you. And I'll show you how this comes out. Right, guys, want to get some pliers. There you go. Do the same here. Yeah. Getting that a further um, pushing. Do that yet? Now the other one should come up, so there you go. Now, now guys, now it's going to tilt back. Now I'm going to hold it. Now I'm going to let it drop, so this is when we flick down. And now we got this out. And now you can have a better look at that. That bit controls that bit. So when I move that, that way. Right? 
because that's meant to come out like that when you open it and when you shut it it's meant to go like that that's always under tension so when you shut it it's going to force it closed when you let it go that's what it's meant to do and that's what we're going to fix today so because that clip's broken we're going to make our own one with a female electrical terminal so i hope that helps and here's the spring, it was stuck at the back. You know, I wobble it to get it underneath so I could actually pop it out. I hope this helps. And this clip at the top broke, which really did help. So, I'm gonna go and get some glue. And here's The terminal straightened. Now I'm gonna do. There you go. There you go. I'm gonna get that way bent, and you'll try and somewhere glue that in there. I recommend somewhere glue it about there. Yeah. That's your terminal, that's how you bend it. Right guys, here's the glue I'm going to be using, it's some called some Aradite. I will link some of this in the description. You get a standard part A and a standard part B. Aradite. And it's ultra as well. And you can read all that on the back if you wish. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead with this. This is the best glue. I think this is about the best to do. Okay, so let's go and start mixing this. Right, guys, you start off with part A. I've just blobbed a bit there for you. I've blobbed quite a bit there. Now we need some part A. Marker. There it is, together. Yeah, well this Aradite is about the best glue for that because it's not going to come off. That's the only glue you can use. It's about the only glue you can use. But now you're going to mix it up. You get some glue on the back. Get quite a bit on the back. Get quite a bit on the terminal. Then you get it glued. There you go. Back next to the original location, that's it. Now you gotta give that 24 hours to set. And this is the best glue, and this is not it's just not gonna fail. Like I was trying dental in glue and it failed, it didn't last me long at all. But I know Aradite's a very good glue, and that's what we're using. I'm just coating it a little bit more. We're using all the glue on it. There's no chance of it coming off. If 
You get this from a local store and stuff, or you can buy it online. Hmm. That's it. Now, wait 24 hours, and, and we're going to be back now in 24 hours time. Right now. Right guys, it's been over 24 hours since I've last given you an update. It's nice and stuck on there. There's no guarantee it's arrow dart, it's ever going to come unstuck. So first, I'm going to have to mount you, then we're going to have to get this spring. I guess the long part goes on there. Yeah, I'm looking at how this works. I guess the best location to mount that would be there. Yeah, so before we get started, we can get you on the tripod. Right, guys, got to get the spring in there. Now you got to stretch it over to there, guys. So the best tool for this to use a pair of pliers for this job. Right guys, stretch up, now, attach it there, give it a good stretch and that works, that works again, now, I recommend you to break that top clip off or whatever, now it's time to get this back in, get your finger there, alright, it's important that you hold it up through this. Right, guys, I've got full grip of it now. Now we can safely insert this back in. Right, guys, get that wheel on there. Now you've got this inserted. Now you push these pins back in. Running in very easily, surprisingly. And I hope this one goes in just as easy. Not quite. Now, guys, check it works. Now, it's time to put this back in the car. So, now we're going to get to the car right now. Right guys, one more thing I just almost forgot to mention this is you can drill a hole in this and fix the spring to that guys if it, it is possible to give you a shot you could like, like drill a bar across there through the whole thing but then that's not going to look good I want it to look original I don't want to like ruin the look of this and I didn't want to drill a hole in my one, I wanted to leave it original, so I came across this electrical connector guys, you can see it when you look underneath and that connector there and the spring up to there really helped that really did help guys because I so showed you when I had this out but yeah, that's like the, the basic workings of this is, is I could have drilled a hole if I really wanted to 
but I didn't I wouldn't like to do that to the, the car just like the clip on the top's been snapped off it's actually kind of a good thing because it actually helps me hold the spring up it does which is actually a good thing I don't know if it's ever had a clip on the top I think it's being snapped off is actually a good thing you could snap it off if you want to guys it's up to you but I would probably recommend you to because then you could hold the spring up to push this back in into that V shape that I showed you when I had this off because you could attach it to that V in there the V shape that I showed you when I had the cup holder out the vehicle and there's the spring you can I don't know if you can see it I'll pop an image up for you guys Right guys, now we're going to just slot this thing back into the dash. Just keep pushing until you hear a nice click. There you go. If you had a top one, you'd click that in too. But yeah, that clip missing at the top actually doesn't matter because just I'd recommend if you really want to make it easy for you, just snap it off, that's what I'd say. But you could probably try and get something in between it to hold it up it's, depends what you have really guys in that top hole depends what you have but I'll just work around what I am myself that's what I'll do yeah because I didn't really want to ruin the interior by if you drilling the hole on the side to, to hold the spring in but then you're going to see it and I don't really want it to look horrible I want it to look original because this, this is my daily driver this Volvo is my daily driver I don't want it to look horrible I want it to look stock because it's a family estate car yeah so now guys we're going to put this back in the car there it goes to so reinstall it push your green connector back in your, your little ground wire there and your speaker wire in again. Now you push all these wires back in, if you hear a nice firm click. Now, to reinstall this, this is a difficult to install. You've got to get it. you got to get that in the top first. And don't crush any wires. Look guys, don't get any wires crushed. Now, give a firm push. I'll show you in a sec. Got to firm push on. So. Now you got top fully inside. So you insert the bottom. You got a push on these parts you got to slot it up onto there so you may firm push upwards so I'm going to have to remount you while I push those in so now you need to do push hard and then get it in You line up all the screws, try to line it up with it. You can. Now we're giving this a firmly pushed in. Now, now you've got that in, now you get your T25 screws and you insert them back in.
So now you got the radio inserted. Final part is get this back in. So now to finally get this small connector there. Push it to here a nice firm clip. Like that. Take it up that way. I'll show you what to help you guys quick. We put the cigarette connector back in first. Or your 12 volt wire, which is a old socket. So get that fully inserted. Now we've got a small electrical connector and push that back in. And I'll grab the other green connector and insert that. Now To insert this, I've firmly push it in, and that's fully clicked in. Now you got that inserted. I'm going to fix this this way. Got all that shifter nice and if you have a nice shifter like mine, a nice one, cover it up. If it's, if it's a nice wood one, but right. mine's a wood shifter, so I didn't want to ruin mine, so I covered mine up with some masking tape. Just didn't want to scratch it. That's what you do if you have a nice shifter, cover it up. That's that. All in. And you do your final and push all your trims here back in. Because I'm waiting for bulbs for this, I'm actually not going to put mine back for now. I'm temporarily running without the trim here. And the gates are just missing there temporarily. I'm running without it. As soon as I get bulbs for this, I'll be putting all this trim back. So the next clip you see will be me putting this back in after I've got bulbs for this. Right, guys. I'm just going to be pushing the finals back in. There you go. Really slot it in there. Clips down. And finally, it feels good to get this back in. So about poor camera quality because it is night time. But I've just been sick of running this without the trim there. Final bit is to put in the pen hole, so I'm going to be back any second.
Alright guys, now I'll push this in. Right guys, push it all in. And that'll be it. So now we're going to go and end off this video. Right guys, we're going to end off this video. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any content like this. And have a nice day.